in this video, I am going to give you 5 essential tips so that you'll be able to achieve success in your Berlitz or person test. I am Darrell. I am one of the former customer service representative based here in the Philippines and I am proud to say that I can help you with that. So without further ado, let's get started. But first, before anything else, let us define what is Berlitz or the person test. So when we say Berlitz or person test, this is actually an examination to assess your language proficiency. So since this is going to be, we are going to talk about call center, BPO. So basically, um, the language that we're going to assess is the English language. So they're going to measure how you deliver some words like your eloquence and how you can receive the information and actually understand it. So the Berlitz or the Versant test is crucial especially to the application process of the call center because say for example if you cannot construct your own words or you cannot really understand what the customer is saying or perceiving then there will be so much communication breakdown and we don't want that to happen so um, in VXI the percent or the Berlitz test is different from the traditional Berlitz or Berlitz test because in VXI you are going to sit in a closed room together with the other applicants and you are going to answer or you're going to conduct the Berlitz test together. So you're going to sit in front of a monitor and there, there will be an APP who will be giving you different scenarios and you have to answer it just like a role play where you are the customer service or you are the employee and you have a situation that you're going to interact with the customer. So it could be a role play or it could be asking for your opinion or something like that, which is, I think, the hardest part of the interview process because everything is impromptu. You have to think for a minute or two to provide your answer. So for me, to be honest with you, um, I've encountered a lot of problems here and this is something that I am not really confident during my first time to be interviewed or to have my first job but luckily i was able to pass it and i don't want you to experience the same struggle that i have so i'm going to give you a walkthrough today so without further ado let's get started to the tips that i will be giving you so for the number one tip i want you guys to stay focused so what do I mean by stay focused? Because as I said earlier, you are going to answer the Berlitz test together. So you are going to encounter a lot of noise because um, there are some people there who are speaking very loudly and you're going to hear them because you're in a one small room. So basically what you can do is just um, look straight into your monitor and just you know try to focus as much as possible it's like you are in a classroom because we all know that in a classroom it's very noisy at times but if you are just speaking to one person and you are looking to that person directly you cannot hear um, the people around you and I think that's really helpful so just try to focus yourself in front of the monitor so that you won't get distracted by the noise from the internal and external noises that you are hearing because it might cause communication breakdown. So that's number one, stay focused. Number two, be mindful of your pronunciation. So in Berlitz, we are not just measuring your eloquence, how well spoken you are, but also your pronunciation. As much as possible, if you can do a neutral accent, try to be in a neutral accent and be mindful with the, the words that um, specifically you're going to say letter E or the pronunciation should be E and we are mistakenly saying it E so be mindful of that because you know um, in a customer service representative I want to be honest with you guys that they are um, some of the customers would really want to speak to a native speaker 
and there will be some discrimination so if you're going to make an accent that is not appropriate um, you might be having a hard time and I don't want you to experience that so as much as possible try to have a neutral accent and be mindful of the pronunciation such as um, parents so parents should be parents not parents or receipt rather than receipt so be mindful of that and yeah so I think that's going to be it but if you can sound like a native speaker well I think that's going to be an advantage so if you can just do your best to do it all right so for number two be mindful of your pronunciation for the number three tip I want you guys to avoid dead air so what do I mean by dead air this is when you are not saying anything in front of the screen so avoid that avoid being mental block so i want to be honest with you guys during the berlitz test there are some questions that i i i'm just stressing out especially to the first and the second question because i got really frustrated because the person beside me is talking very loudly that i cannot i cannot think on my own because I've got easily distracted by the noise so um, this is a contrary on what I've said to the tip number one to stay focused but but I think that this is um, what I did for my advantage and that is to listen to the other people or to the people beside me because as I said you are going to answer the Berlitz test together and you're going to end it together so basically the question that you you guys are going to receive are just the same so what I did that time was um, when I cannot think of the sentences to add to the situation that I've got is that I, I try to listen to the people around me and try to mimic what they're saying so say for example if I saw that he said Oh, I am very sorry for this and I would like you to know that I can definitely understand where this frustration is coming from. So I just mimic that. I, I tried to copy what they're saying because um, it might avoid dead ears because I don't want to provide many dead ears as much as possible. So if I have time, if I don't have anything in mind, I'll just try to to maximize the time by copying what others are saying but try to make sure that what you're saying is appropriate to the situation given to you all right so for the port tip i want you guys to put yourself in the shoe of the customer because there are some situations here that is hard or difficult to answer so I remember that time that I encountered the scenario where I am a flight attendant and I have to address or talk to the VIP because the flight will be um, suspended for a long period of time and that's a very important person so what I did there is I just think that if I am a very important person how do I want the flight attendant or the, to the employee to address the concern or the problems that we are going to encounter so that time what i said is um, um good morning sir i would like to say something this is about our flight i know that this flight is very important for you but unfortunately we, we cannot continue with the flight tonight because of the typhoon and because we are always promoting what do you call this the significance of human lives we don't want to risk your lives your lives as our valued customer so that's why we are going to postpone the flight but don't worry as as soon as everything is safe i am the person i am personally going to talk to you and speak that we can continue the flight so i th that is not the words that i've uttered that time that's not the exact words but i think i have the gist of it so that's that's the gist of what i've said so just try to stay polite because me if i am a customer i want 
I want the employee or the staff to be polite and I want them to give uh, significant reasons why things are not working to my satisfaction or something like that. So that's number four. Try to put yourself in the shoe of the customer. And then, so for the last tip, so before starting the Berlitz exam, I want you guys to create a template. So just try to just try to think of something that you would like to say like you're starting you're ending so say for example you are going to acknowledge empathize and reassure so try to make some templates or something that you would say in a template way but doesn't sound like that because it will help you to compose yourself more easily because you have something in mind so say for example if you thought that you will say this phrase or you're going to say these sentences so you have the time to to compose yourself because it will just automatically be processed by your brain and let your mouth speak or something like that so try to make a template of what you're going to say before conducting the Berlitz exam. Even if you don't have any papers or something like that, just, just practice it in your mind and it will just start the process. And lastly, but not the least, I want you guys to be confident because you know, um, if you were able to pass the initial interview, you were able to pass this and that and you're going to conduct the Berlitz test. This is something that you shouldn't be worrying about because I know that you can do it because you were able to pass the initial interview so what are you going to afraid of just be yourself and be confident and just think that you can do it because I myself I think that you can do it so um, that's going to be it for the Berlitz or the version test and I hope that you guys pass that and Actually, if you want to have a practice when it comes to application process here in VXI, you can actually send me a PM on my Facebook or Instagram and I will help you practice. So that's going to be it. This is Daryl Free Talks now signing up.